everyone welcome back to my channel cross the cherry okay, my name is Agna and today I will show you my finish the one I finished in March 8th of March International Women's Day and I know I'm recording video now just 12th of um, March but um, well I had to calm down <laughs> I had to put all my emotions aside that I would show you exactly what it was in this um, design and uh, how I stitched it and what I did uh, with the conversion of that one so uh, at the beginning that would be Mirabilia Miss Christmas Eve MD 148 uh, it's um, stitched was stitched on a charty two count Belfast linen uh, color sand I think so I don't know the numbers there because uh, when I ordered the fabric from um, Italy so they didn't write anything on them so that would be color sand um, recommended was uh, desert sand linen from Vichels but uh, I um, decided I'm gonna use the one that I have so I pretty much um, did them um, it looks a little bit brighter on this one but uh, I did in pretty much uh, the same kind of a color because uh, we usually know that the photos uh, on the previews are different than the ones that you um, the outcome you get so um, I'm happy with this one I had a bit of a trouble there ironing that I ironed it was everything okay and now I see in the camera again two lines and a bit of a bubbles over here but uh, I hope it's not gonna do any um, harm for my video though, but uh, I'll be st uh, ironing that one when I'll be framing, so there's no problem, I'd say. Um, now, I finished uh, um, 12 days in stitching, 14 days altogether with the beading and everything, because there were 1,200 beads, excluding those, the ones I used the uh, beads instead of a few uh, stitches and uh, like a colors so um, I'm gonna be talking about everything in the detail and um, I'll show you where everything was now on the left side here you see all my beads the ones that I used and, uh, and there's no one box uh, where with Swarovski's in and then the Karen water lilies but let's talk about the size and the stitches there it's um, it should be uh, let me see 11.86 by 16 inches uh, in centimeters 26.4 by 35.6 centimeters uh, in stitches 168 by 224 stitches altogether that's uh, 15,439 stitches altogether 24 DMC colors I have a Karen water lilies at the end over there as well but uh, that would be the colors um, good few red ones and green ones i love them colors uh, some of the nine um, two six from nine two six seven and eight they were used only on uh, gloves so um, there was not much you don't even need if you have a little bit left over so definitely you're going to be using those uh, i needed like um, um twice like of a uh, nine to eight i think so only twice i had to change and that's it the rest of them it was enough two strands so uh of a meter i mean like because i usually usually use a meter for those um not much but um 905 definitely you would need two skeins not full two skeins but one full skein definitely um, was stitched uh now about the beads the only one bead i used from the real one it was uh mill hill size 8 uh, 18099 so it's like uh, 80 beads you need for this one uh they were everywhere on this um, side all on the red ones and a few over here and in her hat and um, lines over here uh they were big, uh, but they were lying like really nicely because um, they were exact the size uh, of the left uh, um, blank space from stitches. So I pretty much, ha I'm, I'm happy with that. And um, 
Of course, they probably would have looked much better like on a 28 count um, linen, like a cashel, but um, uh, there were some beads, the ones that um, really wouldn't fit then after. So those uh, bugle beads, uh, I used Miyuki 7 millimeters. That's exactly the ones that uh, they put in the mill hill. So um, I don't see a big problem changing. So those are gold um, silver lines. I used, uh, well, if anyone interested in a code, so that's the code for Miyuki. And um, then I had uh, the size pretty much the same, like um, Mill Hill, the one was showed and recommended to use in a key, but uh, I did the rest of them like uh, totally different. I didn't use this one, the one that is supposed to be in um, um in as well but uh, i didn't use those i said like ah well i'm gonna be using something else so i used these miyuki 1a32 uh, that's the size of 15 as well and um they were everywhere everywhere i mean like uh, in the snowflakes and uh, those little yolks here and uh, on her hat thing and um, here on the gloves as well. I pretty much didn't understand why we need here on the gloves as well. But well, let's say there are some buttons or whatever. And um, the biggest one I used, it was Toho size 6. That would be uh, for 16606 of a milk hill. So I used those. So it's like 45 beads of those. Um, I have a list how many beads you need all together, but originally how Mill Hill. So if you want to pause and make a screenshot, so here you are. You have those. Uh, this is 13056. I just made a mistake writing down, so it's two units. So that would be those uh, Swarovskis I used. That's original Swarovski beads. That's the um, teardrop crystal. And uh, here are all the beads, the ones you need. So you, all of them was enough for one packet. It should have been enough anyways. Because um, I buy them as well, like uh, 5 grams and stuff like that. So that's enough. And here are all the ones I used. Now the, this one here, this is uh, Preciosa beads. Once 01770. I used those instead of a 301 DMC over here. Like um, in some places there were supposed to be stitches, I used the beads. Now, um, Karen Water Lilies. There were four Karen Water Lilies. So 158. Lovely color. So that's all of what I did. I, everything else I did by the key except the beads. And Karen Water Lilies, there was pretty much a lot to stitch. I'll take those beads away. Um, the pretty much a lot to stitch um, everywhere where all them lines you see like uh, she's holding like a lace or something like that like uh, um, and uh, all them lines they were all stitched in um, those Karen water lilies so I used them original ones and didn't change anything uh, all the threads as well I used the original ones didn't change anything except the beads yeah but the beads I have Mill Hill um, color chart Printed one though, but I bought that in um, one shop in Ukraine, and those uh, they kind of were taking uh, looking at the Mill Hill as well that they wouldn't go too far from them colors, so I pretty much got everything right anyways. I like the way I did. I like the beads and everything. The bugle beads were exactly exactly in the place. I mean like. Uh, there's no fabric uh, sticking out from them or anything like that. So bugle beads were perfectly fitting in. And I actually love stitching with them. So I can't wait now until I do a dressmaker's daughter wear a good few bugle beads in there. And I'm getting ready to stitch uh, as well the um, winter white Santa, I presume. That was MD100. So I can't wait to stitch that one there as well. So probably uh, I'll be um, um, stitching and enjoying as well. I'm just afraid of um, Whisper thread over there from Rainbow Gallery.
course they have to get the phone call <laughs> so um yeah, Mirabilia was, um, has a lot of um, carrion, water lilies, cranics, and so, so on. So this one didn't have any cranic, but it did have four carrion water lilies, the ones I would suggest to buy and stitch with them because um, it looks amazing. It looks uh, all them variegated colors and everything like um, you wouldn't get with any other uh, thread. It's uh, silks. Well, of course, you can swap them like different colors or something like that but uh, I would suggest to buy um, hand dyed silk and um, a stitch with that so uh, that probably would be it today and I'm very happy that I finished that uh, it was started uh, 2018 but uh, I finished that like like I nearly all of them do like straight away I take them and I just finish them <laughs> in few a uh, few weeks or so um, yeah, it was very, very good um, progress in uh, 2020. I started uh, in February stitching. So uh, to 2020, I came with the 41% and uh, I finished the rest already in March. So um, it was, it's easy, it's very nice and I am happy with the outcome. I hope uh, that all the mirabilias, the ones I have, uh, uh, they will be stitched as fast as this one. And I do um, want to frame it and um, hang somewhere probably in my um, in my craft room. But uh, well, I barely ever stay there. Um, whenever I do the polymer clay, so then I'm staying in in the craft room. But uh, I do want to see her all the time. So probably I'm gonna be framing that soon enough. And uh, probably that will be it. I'll uh, be recording a new video there about my soda stitch, the one I finished yesterday. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like uh, my conversion there with the beads. And if you want a list what I used, so um, I can um, just ask in the comments there and I will uh, give you a list. But... Um, She's not really expensive uh, by the beads and everything, so I'd say um, even those uh, and uh, even those bugle beads and everything they can be uh, put uh, different ones uh, as long as the golden ones, so they look much better with gold. And um, yeah, she's not expensive, and um, except for Karen water lilies, of course, they were fought on Karen water lilies, so obviously that's like at least twenty five euro, talking in euros. So, uh, but still stays, uh, some of them colors I'll be using in a different Mirabilia, so I'm pretty much happy that I bought them and I have them. And um, this one is going back somewhere, ironing as well. <laughs> and um, I'm going to move on with another Mirabilia too. I, um, I will be recording video about saw the stitch, so if you want to see that one, uh, don't forget to put a uh, like subscribe and a little bell the one uh, right beside the subscriptions and um, then you won't miss another videos thanks for watching uh, i hope you enjoy um, stitching and um, my conversion of mirabilia beads and see you next time bye bye